I thought this footage was fake. Uh, it's, it's been uh, white phosphor again. Uh, used, uh, we, we filmed. And then they cut him off. Very operating and very dangerous, very difficult circumstances. That's not some small YouTube journalist just bullshitting on the air. That is the British Broadcasting Company cutting their own journalists off for outing the Israeli army's use of chemical weapons, white phosphorus. What makes this shit so dangerous is that it's light and it can ignite on virtually any substance and assuming when you breathe it in it doesn't give you respiratory problems, once this shit catches fire, it's almost impossible to put out. So when it touches your skin and it reacts to the oxygen so volatile, that's what happens and it doesn't stop until it reaches your bone. And this is what the Israeli government is lacing with their munitions. It's kind of giving 2009 vibes because this shit's pretty much on repeat. I'm going to go off script for a second. Like, hold on. I'm amazed still at how dumb all of you people are that are saying pray for Israel. Breaking news overnight. Israel has ordered more than a million people in northern Gaza to evacuate the region in less than 24 hours. The unprecedented warning came in just before midnight last night. The United Nations says that is impossible. Half of Gaza's population are children because most Palestinians don't ever make it past the age of 30 because the living conditions are so shitty. So let me get this straight as the defenders of Israel. You want 500,000 kids, mostly under the age of 13, to traverse 50 miles of concrete jungle that's covered in white powder that could set them on fire. You need them to jog that shit in less than a day. D do I have that right? Wait, I'm not done. This religious shit is so stupid. So hold on. You're telling me a book of fairy tales told you that land somebody else was living on belonged to you. But you can't read the book. Like, you can't read Hebrew. But this dude can. And he's telling you kids aren't collateral damage. And you're just like, meh, send the missiles over anyway. And you end up killing more kids, three times more kids, than the actual hostages that are captive. I'm a Yahud. I'm a Yahud. אני רוצה להיות יהודי כמו פעם, כמו לפני 150 שנה, שחיו פה בשלום, בשמחה, שכל הפלסטינים יחזרו לפה. כולם יחזרו לכל המקומות. Like, I'm looking at my comment section right now, and I'm pretty sure you guys would call me anti-Semitic just for saying that matzo ball soup doesn't taste good at this point. I mean, I personally think it's more anti-Semitic that you don't criticize a government for lying to the Jewish people about why it's shooting kids, and it took them seven days to make any attempt to rescue the hostages, but it took them less than a day to fire missiles.